1% earn about 96% of all the money that's earned. Earning money is a game. Very few people understand it. Listen very carefully to what I'm about to share with you. It can literally change your life. Think about what you're doing with your life. Think about what you have been doing with your life. Do you know, it's a rather sad truth that most people go all the way through their life and they never live the life they really want to live. They don't drive the car they want to drive. They don't live in the house they really want to live in. They don't take the vacations they'd want to take. You have to ask why. You'll find people living sometimes in the richest country in the world, in the richest country in the history of the world, yet they're having difficulty getting by. You see, the truth is, you can literally create your own economy. Yet it doesn't matter what's going on in the marketplace. Yet it never has mattered. You're going to find in the very best economy, there's people that are failing miserably. Yet you're going to find in the very worst economy, there's people earning millions of dollars. We have been raised and trained and programmed to let the outside world control us. And yet all the great teachers, as far back as you can go, go way back to the ancient Babylonians, they've all told us to go inside not outside. We've been trained to live through our senses, to go by what we see, hear, smell, taste, touch. That's sad, and it's not, it's not necessary. You can literally create your own economy. Now, I want you to think about what I'm telling you. This can literally change your life. Don't treat this just as a sales presentation or something like that. Treat this as some basic truths that can change your life, because it literally changed mine. Now, what I'm going to show you from here on is what I learned in that 10 and a half years. Let those lines represent levels of vibration. I have a cell phone here, and the cell phone operates on a level of vibration. The level of vibration is referred to as a frequency. Now, come down here and understand this. You and I think on frequencies. Thought is energy. It's the most potent form of energy there is. Thought waves are cosmic waves that penetrate all time and space. So, if we let these little puffy clouds represent thoughts, it's the thoughts that we think that produce the results that we get. Now, that's the one point all great leaders have agreed on. They've disagreed on virtually everything else, but this one point, we become what we think about. Every great leader that has ever lived, they agree on this. The results we're getting are not the results we want. We say, there's the result I want, and we shoot at a target. That's where I'd like my income to go. That's the kind of car I want to drive. That's the way I want the kids to be educated. They're the kind of trips I want to take. And then we say, that is my goal, and I'm going to do that as soon as I get the money. I am going to do that as soon as the kids are finished school. But you know something? That won't change because our thinking hasn't changed. You know what happens? Pretty soon the decision fades. And then you know what fades? The goals fade. Why? We're not on the right frequency of thought. We're not thinking the right way at all. You see, the frequency that has the thoughts to manifest the dreams that we've got is up here, and we're operating away down here. Do you know what it calls for? That calls for something we call a paradigm shift. Yet if we don't shift the paradigm, our thinking is going to stay where it is. Where were you a year ago? Probably much the same state as you are now. Well, it may go up a little bit, but no great change. Most people don't make a great change because they don't have the right thoughts. You see, what we need is some of this high octane energy. We need to get into this energy, these higher thoughts that change things. And when we do, everything starts to change. We've got to get off that frequency and we've got to get on a higher one. And when we build a big goal, we've got to get our thoughts up on that frequency. You see, the thoughts to manifest the goal are already here. That's where we have to go. See, it's not an accident, four or five percent of the population are big winners, and some of them aren't very bright, and some of them are absolutely brilliant. What is the other 90-some percent doing? They're on the wrong track. They're letting the paradigm control them. Do you know that school doesn't teach us how to earn money? I don't care what university. You can go to all the top universities. They do not teach you to earn money. They'll teach you to count it. They'll teach you to store it. They'll teach you how to invest it. Why do you think we have economists that have maybe a doctorate in economy and they're broke? They know all kinds of things about money, but they don't learn how to earn it. I grew up with the idea you've got to be really smart to earn money. It's not true at all. There's some people that aren't very bright at all earning money. I could show anyone how to multiply their income. 
but I can only do it if they will act on the ideas that I share. Now look at this. There's a law governing compensation. What is compensation? Compensation is a reward we receive for service rendered. This law of compensation clearly states the amount of money you earn will always be an exact ratio to the need for what you do, your ability to do it, then the difficulty there is in replacing you. Now there's probably a tremendous need for what you do. You don't even have to change that. You don't even have to go anywhere else. Tremendous need for what you do. The second one, your ability to do it. If you become very good at it, you're going to be very difficult to replace, and that's when the stock goes up. You see, all we have to focus on is our ability to do whatever we're doing. We want to become a master at it. And you know something? Very few people in your field, or in any field, really learn how to master what they're doing. M1 is a terrible strategy, and yet it's used by 96% of the population. This is where people trade their time for money. You see, that, that strategy has an inherent problem. You run out of time. M2 is an excellent strategy, but it's only used by 3% of the population, and for good reason. This is where you invest money to earn money, and most people haven't got any money to invest. Some of the people in M1 will squirrel a little bit away because they've also been programmed they should save, so they squirrel it away at the expense of a life. They don't live the way they want. They have to save a little. And then if they invest it the wrong way, it's gone. M3 was something I stumbled on. It's only used by 1% of the population. Some of them are brilliant. Some of them aren't very brilliant at all. I wasn't, and I learned to use it. This is where 1% earn about 96% of all the money that's earned. We know that there's not an even distribution of money, but it is fair because it's by law. You might not think it's fair, but the more you study the law, the more you realize it is. And you could move into the M3 strategy. You could do it just like that. That's where you multiply your time by setting up multiple sources of income. It's such a cool concept, and it's one most people don't understand. Now, we call this MSIs, multiple sources of income. Now, you say, well, all the sources of income the same size? Oh, goodness, no. Some are big and some are small. But I'll tell you something they all have in common. They all flow into your bank. This is not fantasy, folks. This is the real deal. Earning money is a game. Very few people understand it. Most people are extras in their own movie. They think, gosh, if only I could do that. They see somebody doing something well and say, wow, I wish I could do that. You can do whatever you want, but you've got to decide what you want. Now, the average individual doesn't even know what a paradigm is, and yet a paradigm is literally controlling their life. You see, a paradigm controls us. It's literally controlling our life. A paradigm is a mental program that has almost exclusive control over our habitual behavior. Almost all of our behavior is habitual. We wake up in the morning and we move into action. No thought, we just automatically move into action. In fact, if you reflect when you get out of bed in the morning, there's a pattern that you follow into. Your perception is controlled by your paradigm. That's how you see the world. You see the world according to your perception. Perception is a mental faculty. Do you know you can change your perception? Let's suppose you have a challenge that you're facing. You're having a particular problem, and you're not quite sure how to solve it. If you would write that problem on a piece of paper, put it on the table, and sit back and look at it. Then go sit on the other side of the table and make believe you were someone else. Then go sit somewhere else and look at it and say, if I was so-and-so, how would I look at that? And you're going to find your perception will shift. It's a simple way to solve your problem. Perception is how we see the world. Most people don't have anywhere near the problems they think they have. They have a perception problem. They're looking at things the wrong way. If you want to change your results, you really want to get better results, there's only one way to do it, and that is by changing your paradigm. It doesn't matter how hard you work. It doesn't matter how many hours you put in. If your paradigm does not change, Ultimately, the results are going to remain the same from one year to the next. Don't take my word for it. Just look back over your life. Oh, there may be small incremental changes, but did you ever double, triple, quadruple? I am not able to change you. There's only one person in the whole universe that can change you, and that's you. No one can do it. Well, there's probably a lot of people who would like you to change, but they can't do it. There's no one who can change me. I'm the only one that can change me. And it took me a long time to understand that.